Make sure you read Romans chapter 8, verse 28. I would like to present to you the ugly truth, chapter 9, the process of greatness. Let's face it, you know, the process is always going to be hard, and it's never easy. It's easy to get frustrated, it's easy to get mad, it's easy to get upset, it's easy to get angry, because a lot of things are not going right for you. But you practice and practice all the time, and nothing seems to be going right for you keep missing shot after shot after shot, nothing you're doing is right, they want you to do this better, they want you to do that better, and then there are a lot of people that don't want to see you succeed, so you actually give in to that, what people say, you give in to what people say, and you start to mess up every time you shoot the ball, and then it starts affecting the other people around you. Once they see you doing bad, and then you're not helping them, so they not doing good themselves but this is where you have to start doing better and in order for us to grow we have to understand the purpose God gives us a purpose but we also have to dig deep and fight on and work out everything that we are failing at in order to do better because if we want to be great if we want to have greatness in our lives in order for us to be that great person that we know we can be, we have to continue to push. We have to continue to be better. We have to dig deep, deep within inside ourselves and work better and start growing in what we're trying to do. But we have to go through the process. The process to start off with is first, making ourselves better, making ourselves stronger, making ourselves better in everything that we feel we can. We have to dig deep in everything that we do. And nobody can really help you through that except God. You have to meditate and ask God for the strength that you can go on, you can fight on, you can dig deeper, you can hang on longer, you can fight on harder, you can face all odds, every obstacle that you go up against. But the process has to start first. Because if the process doesn't start first, you will fail every time. So you have to work out every situation. You have to work out every problem. You have to work out every obstacle that is standing in your path to becoming great. And when all that's, and when you dig deep, that's when it starts to show when you're ready to play. When you're ready to play, you'll start making everybody else better because you worked harder and then you make them work harder and then they will become better. They will make their shots, they will make their opportunities, they will continue to push and, and continue to score in their life, continue to make everything better in their life. They will continue to grow because you start to grow. And that's what being a light is all about also. One of the processes of grace is greatness it always has to be a light but in order for you to shine your light on others you have to first grow your light your light is going to be dim at first because of the frustration that you deal with in life but at the end of the day if you continue to press forward if you continue to climb the mountains of life continue to, to climb the walls of these depression and, and, and sadness that you deal with in life if you continue to climb over those hurdles then you will be great. You will continue to show it and then your light will start to shine brighter. But it, but you can't make your light shine brighter if you continue to dim it down if you do not go through the process. The process of greatness, you have to work hard. You have to dig deep and you have to grow that light. Then another thing you would have to do, you have to frustrate your enemy by doing great things. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about if people don't see your light or not. They will see your light and they will see your light when you see your own light. And if you and if they see your light, that means you're starting to see the light in yourself. And that's when you are going to be the greatest that ever done it. So what, you can play basketball or or do makeup or <clears throat> or be 
a great person in a lot of things that you do. You can be great on your job, great on your career, everything like that. But in order for you to do that, you have to let your light shine because you will continue to grow if you keep fighting. Once you keep fighting, once you continue to shine that light, God will open doors for you, open opportunities for you. Every opportunity will open up for you and no one can stop it. No one, nothing that people say negatively will stop what God is about to open, what God is about to prepare you for. Your purpose in this life is to be great. Your purpose in this life is to be happy. Your purpose in this life is to walk the will of God and continue to push. And your light will shine, I guarantee you. So continue to be a light on others. Continue to go through the process of greatness because once you go through the process, it'll all be over. Let your light shine.